Welcome back to Dashtoon Studio. Creating and editing your images is only a part of the comic creation journey. Once you have the images you need, there is post-processing that can make your comic stand apart. In this tutorial, we are going to look at three easy ways to make your comic more interesting. Custom frame shapes, using the right dialogue bubbles, and how to put gradients on your Dashtoon pages. Here we have our page and a couple of frames. The square frame is great as a starting point, but if all the frames look alike, it might get boring very soon. So how can we make our dash tune a bit more interesting? Let's start by selecting one of the frames in our editor and clicking on the gear icon located on the right panel. This will open the settings menu for the frame. Here, you'll find various options to customize your frame like shape type, stroke width, and color. Let's click on Shape Type and select Rhombus from the drop-down menu. And that's how easy it is to transform your square panel into a different shape. Here, we want to show two girls talking on the phone. So let's drag the frame onto your page and adjust its position to fill the left half of the page. We'll repeat this process with the second frame, changing its shape to a rhombus as well. Lastly, we'll carefully adjust both the frames on the page so they complement each other and create the sense of dialogue that we need. Once we add in our dialogues, these two panels create a fresh sense of interaction that just makes your dash tune feel more engaging. Do try experimenting with frame shapes to see how they impact the narrative and visual flow of your scenes. You can play around with our custom dialogue bubbles as well to create more engaging comics. Here we have gotten rid of the bubbles that we were using earlier and we will show you how to play around with our dialogue bubbles to convey the character dialogues and emotions. Speech bubbles are graphic elements used in comics to show what characters are saying or thinking. They vary in shape and size to match the tone and context of the dialogue, enhancing the reader's understanding of the narrative. Click on the speech bubble icon at the bottom of the left toolbar, and then click anywhere on your canvas or inside the page to add a speech bubble. Once you add or select a speech bubble, you'll see its settings panel on the right side of your screen. Here, you can customize the bubble's type, tail direction, tail width, stroke, color, and text options. We'll start with changing the bubble type. For our first character, we will select the wobbly speech bubble type from the options and adjust its size by dragging any side of the bubble. For the tail, choose Right Curved to make it point towards our character. Double-click inside the bubble to add your text, for example. Let's say, Hello? Let's repeat the same process for the second character. This time, let's choose the Flash Bubble type to indicate that the character is yelling. Drag the tail to point it toward the yelling character. We will adjust the size to fit the frame. And double-click on the bubble to add the dialog. Lastly, let's look at how to add or edit gradients on our Dashtoon pages. Once our Dashtoon layout composition is done, we'll select a page. In the right panel, you can see the page settings for the selected page. This section allows you to tweak various aspects of your page's appearance. Let's click on the Fill option to explore color settings for the selected page. In the Fill options, you have the choice between applying a solid color or a linear gradient. Choosing Linear Gradient opens up possibilities for a rich, multi-tonal backdrop. To adjust the gradient, click on the color box to activate the Gradient Editor. Here, you can slide along the gradient line to introduce new colors or adjust existing ones. Move the circle within the color picker to fine-tune the shades to your liking, or use the eyedropper tool for precise color, matching from existing elements on your page. If you wish to add another color to the gradient, simply click on the gradient line. Should you need to remove a color, select its marker and press the delete button on your keyboard. As you make these changes, you can see them change your page, allowing you to explore and enhance your Dash Tunes overall aesthetic. Experiment with different color combinations to see what best complements the tone and theme of your story. So custom frame shapes, using the right bubbles paired with a nice gradient backdrop for your page, can greatly improve how your dash tune feels. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.